my room. You got enough money for that. <laughs> One of our YHA trips. Oh yeah. Uh, I left the table with book for five hundred. Oh, yeah. Hey folks, how's it going? <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm currently in the uh, gents' toilets of the Skirid Inn, which is the oldest pub in Wales. This pub is nine hundred years old. I'm on my way to do a two night wild camp, but we've stopped for what uh, Warren calls a turbo pint. We've had the McDonald's, which is what I wanted. Now we're having a quick pint, and then we've got to walk up Hay Bluff, potentially in the dark, because the sun's just setting now. But uh, yeah, he wanted to stop in and have a quick pint and show me this 900 year old pub. So uh, that's where we are. I'm going to stop talking because I feel a bit stupid filming an intro in a toilet. Okay, that was a turbo pint. That was a that turbo was pint. All of 10 minutes in yep. there. So, uh, by the way, I'm out with Warren from Linley's 360. Hi. Link in the description. Hi, he's Warren Brand, <laughs> etc. Anyway, we've got 20 minutes drive. We have. We better get on with it. And then we've got to do some walking in the dark after a beer. Goodbye. Ciao. Ciao. <coughs> You've been in Italy too long. Yeah. Just after eight o'clock, we are ready. And it is dark. Car's parked, bags are on. And we're going that way up to Hay Bluff. <laughs> ah. It's chilly, isn't it? Yep. Oh, oh how windy. <laughs> wind powering you Not up the hill. Wind came through. Okay, we've been going for an hour, hour and a half, and we are at the trig point at Hay Bluff. Nighttime trig point tapping. <laughs> Amazing. Lovely. Nice one. All right. Lovely, yeah. That's and good. no moat this time. Whew. That was cool. That was a cool night hike. Right, gonna pitch tent somewhere and crack open a beer. It's a beautiful clear sky as well, so yeah, it's a bit chilly. <laughs> right, let's do it.
half eleven and uh, it's hot chocolate and flapjack and bedtime. Oh yeah, that's good. That is good. <laughs> so yeah, this trip, the plan is not to cover millions of miles. We'll do a little bit, but it's mostly just a couple of nights up in the hills. Are these mountains or? Oh, they're mountains. Are you sure? Oh, of course. Small mountains. They're mountains. This is going to be a relaxing weekend away. And, um, yeah, it's living up to its billing at the moment. It's been a really cool evening. Mm. We can see town over there. I'm not sure what town you might know. Uh, Bracken is just, yeah, to the side there. And, um, yeah, we've had a nice moonrise. We've got clear skies above us, nice stars. But, it's cold, isn't it? It is. We've both got basically all yeah. of our clothing on. <laughs> Warren's in his down trousers and yep. down booties. I am. I'm jealous that I've decided to leave <laughs> mine at home. So I put my waterproof trousers on just to add a bit of warmth. But yeah, happy bunnies, aren't we? We are good. We are good. Fantastic to be out. Mm. It's nice, this blackjack. It's okay. I'm pleased we came round this far. When I was looking at kind of the contours and the, I've never been here. This this like edgy bit. I've only ever pointed it to the trigger point, turned left, and cracked on. Mm. Um, I'd be the interest to see the view in the morning. Yeah. There's a big steep the drop. official. I'm hoping. It's uh, seven o'clock. Um, yeah, I'm not really awake. I just came out for a wee. I didn't go to bed till gone midnight. It's about half past twelve, I think. And, um, yeah, <sighs> just got up for a wee. But my God, <laughs> since we got here in the dark, I haven't actually seen where we are. This is stunning, unbelievable sunrise going on. I miss the cresting of it, obviously, but. That is just spectacular what I can see. Got misty, misty hilltops, misty mountain tops, and things going on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably gonna head back to bed for a little bit because I think I need a bit more sleep, but ah, it's just. I had to just get my camera and show where I am. It's still cold. <laughs> I tell you what, I was warm enough. I am so glad I bought my winter sleeping bag because I was so toasty in that. But yeah, now I'm out. It's um, it's nippy, should we say? Anyway, going back to bed for a bit. Good night.
A good morning proper. It's uh, now quarter past nine. I feel a lot brighter. I managed to get more sleep. But, uh, yeah, kettle's on. <sighs> Look at this. Isn't it lovely? Yes, uh, temperature's warmed up. Sun's out. We are going to have carried in some a little bit of bacon and an egg each and a couple of bagels so we're going to have uh, an egg and bacon bagel for breakfast which is amazing and um, then we're going to set off walking but for now we're just going to enjoy this stunning scenery that is a hell of a place to wake up isn't it there's a bit of a breeze and there's a bit of a drop off. You've got some tiny little sheep down there, but that is glorious, isn't it? Well, happy with this. Shout out to uh, Warren for picking the campsite. Speaking of, let's go say good morning to the to the gentleman. What doing? <laughs> look at him! Look at him! Dressed in morning, his uh, Michelin Man gear. Kettle. Kettle's boiled. Kettle's boiled. How did you sleep then? Oh, very well. Very yeah. well indeed, actually. Yeah, that way a bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very well indeed. Snug as a bug in a rug. Yeah. Lovely spot. Gorgeous spot. Tell you I hadn't realised uh, what the view would be quite. There's some bridges in the distance. I'm not sure what they are. I reckon they're hills. And there might be hills. Yeah. It was more the more well, wasn't sure what the name of the hills <laughs> All right. were rather than what they actually are. Yeah. That's lovely though, isn't it? Yeah, gorgeous. We're right on this like end loop around. Yeah. Hay Bluff, Office Dyke. I can't see the Office Dyke path. Hey, it's down there. I it? yeah, yeah. I, I look oh, down yeah. there. You can see a little path running all the way along. It must cut literally there. Yeah, it's not it's not far away, but it's quite it's quite far down. It's good. What a place! What a place to wake up. Right, bacon and eggs. Bacon and eggs. Also a bit of shell. Mm. Oh, wow. It's like being at Glastonbury.
This is great. What a view. Right, so yes, we're all packed up. We have left no trace, as you can see. And um, <laughs> it's getting on for lunchtime, so we've got a bit of walking to do. I think we're going to be having a late lunch today. But, uh, yeah, we're going to make our way back to the trig point at Hay Bluff, doing a kind of round route, and then back down the way we came last night, and uh, up the other side to Lord Hereford's Knob, I think. So I'm going to shut up, we're going to do a bit of walking, and uh, we'll catch up later. Ha <laughs> ha, look at it. Right, let's go. Uh, down there is the uh, River Wye, and that's the Wye Valley. I had to do some uh, Wye exploring one day. <laughs> it's a beautiful day! It was a beautiful day. I might record that and then uh, force everybody to have it in their uh, collection. Shout out Bonio. found a uh, paraglider heaven. There's a load of them waiting to take off. Just been talking to one guy and he's saying it's a bit too windy really so um, he's waiting but there's a couple of what he said are oh, better pilots look like they're about to go so I'll just watch that for a minute. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Tell you what, rather than than me, that looks hairy. And that guy, he went off behind me. Blimey. I would not like to be doing it, but it's cool to watch. I've never seen him take off like that. I've never seen him take off, should I say. Anyway, we better carry on walking. Okay, sit rep. We're uh, we're on our way up the next peak towards Lord Hereford's Knob. We came down that peak over there, which is Hay Bluff, and we're heading that way. We can't really see; it's higher than what we can see, but it's uh, it's a gradual uphill. This one, yeah, beautiful, beautiful countryside sheep roaming around, patchwork quilt of stuff going on in the background. Very nice. I like. <sighs> yeah, we haven't had lunch yet. It's about one o'clock. I've decided we're going to push on to the top before we stop for lunch. <sighs> right. More walking. See you at the top. Thank you. 
blowy up here, but it's nice. Look at that rock formation down there, that's well cool. Yeah. Lots of these little drop-offs on the way up. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool! Well, here we are, Lord Hereford's Knob. That wasn't too bad a walk. Neither of these peaks has been challenging as such. It's been a lovely day. But, now that I've looked at his Lordship's Knob, it's time for lunch, I'm starving. these big soups before it's nice goes well with the pasty oh catch it. it anyway laters Oh, good afternoon. <laughs> We've had a nap. It's now four o'clock and uh, yeah, leisurely lunch and uh, afternoon nap. This is my kind of hiking trip. Yes, we're still at uh, Lord Hereford's Canobe. We're going to have a quick cup of tea, wake ourselves up a bit. Then we're going to get back on the walk. It's only an hour or so, maybe two hours to where we're going to camp, so no dramas. We should be there by six o'clock. What well, a lovely spot to have a nap, though. It was truly, truly nice. Okay, we're back on the walking, and uh, we we found a craggy edge. No, I don't like it. <laughs> One that makes my legs go jellyfied. But yeah, we're now heading up there, which is the peak, there's a trig point on it, but uh, we can't remember the name of it. Uh, well, I can't remember it, and Warren can't pronounce it, so no idea what it's called. But uh, yeah, we're going great guns. 
after a restful, long, leisurely lunch. This is, uh, I've never been to this part of uh, Brecon's. I think it's part of kind of Black Mountain range. I think there are supposed to be two Black Mountains. One that's got a, a pool at the bottom of it, as it were, a tarn type thing. This is not that one. This is the one that's uh, near Abergavenny and I think we can see Penny Fan and um, Cribbon and stuff in the distance there. But yeah, we're heading up that way. So, <coughs> got a bit of a climb ahead of me. Wish me luck. Whew, okay, we are at the top of the unnamed peak. I'd like to say that was a nice easy climb, but I'm still a bit out of breath. <laughs> Trick point finger. <laughs> uh, I think the altitude's getting to me. Uh, speaking of altitude, king of the Segway. Uh, this is, um, I think it was 713 meters. This one, so reasonable. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna. Wander to the edge, see if about a nice place to camp. I'm on a flat spot tonight. I was on a bit of a hill last night. I kept waking up with my feet pressed against the end of the tent, but yeah, it'd be nice to be flat tonight. We're gonna get an early night and then an early start tomorrow. Right, I'm gonna investigate. I'll come back in a bit. Tents are up. But, uh, yeah, it's beer o'clock. Which, coincidentally, it's just after six o'clock. Is that the one you dropped on the floor? It is. Let's have a look. Oh, uh, yes. Oh. oh. How dare you. Oh, super yes. good. It's been a hard day. <laughs> he was asleep for about an hour. Poof. So what is this called? Can you remember? No, because actually, I don't think he's got, well, maybe it has got a local name. On the map, mm -hmm. there is no name immediately here. There's a name of the ridge going all south a little bit, mm -hmm. just off the trick point. But I don't think the trick point has got a name, well, at least it's not. Watch the 25,000, man. Watch the ridge. Uh, well, it's the ridge that goes down to one far. All right. Say that again. No. <laughs> We're on just off, just northwest of this trick point, just there. Okay. So this this I don't think's got a proper name. It's whatever that is, which I can't pronounce. As the back area here, and then there's this ridge down here, which I can't pronounce that either. <laughs> but whatever that is, and the cairn and this route off, which was potentially one way, if we were doing this walk down here. Yeah. But the big route popular route down here one fuck down here but that's I don't think that's got a name okay well it might have but not on the one to one to twenty five thousand it doesn't yeah and 713 meters yeah cool that's all right respectable 
Yeah, so I hope that's clear. We don't know where we are. Who cares? It's lovely. Got a bit of a time lapse running. I don't normally talk about what I'm filming, but I set my GoPro to try and get that sunset looking lovely. But, um, yeah, we'll see if that comes out okay. In the meantime, I'm going to cook my dinner and eat my dinner. Yep. I'm in bed. It's uh, about 11 o'clock, I think. It's been a great day. You're fogging up. Yeah, it's been a nice evening, but it got a bit cold near the end. So I've been, yeah, in my in my bag, looking out my tent for the last sort of hour or so, and uh, yeah. Really cool view uh, down the valley at the twinkling city lights and all. We've had clear skies through the evening, and uh, yeah, above us you can see like the um, Milky Way and all that sort of thing. So it's been really nice, but it's um, it's turning a bit moist now. So time to turn in for the night. Um, in terms of gear, I haven't really mentioned anything, but. Uh, I'm in a Hilleberg Acto. I'm on a what am I on? Thermarest X Light Mat, and I got a Rab uh, Rab Ascent sleeping bag, um, and I've got a foil roll mat under my sleeping bag, uh, under my what you call it, uh, sleeping pad, and uh, yeah, foil roll mat. I can't recommend that enough. They're about five quid and um, yeah, I dozed on it this afternoon, you know, unrolled it just out on the grass when we were having a kip and um, yeah, really feel the retention of your body heat. It's lovely and um, 
it's a good emergency backup because if my air mattress had a puncture up here in the cold, you know, you're in trouble, aren't you? So being able to just lay on an uncomfortable foil mat is better than a kick in the teeth. But yeah, that's me, done for the night, done for the day. And uh, yeah, I'm sufficiently tired and happy and ready for bed. So see you in the morning. And um, yeah, good night. Good morning, folks. Folks. It's uh, probably quarter past seven and it's cloudy. No sunrise to be had today. <sighs> Slept amazing. Nice flat lay. Yeah, uh, undid my mat a little bit, let some air out, so I had a nice squishy, squashy bed. I was warm and toasty in my uh, sleeping bag. A oh, happy bunny this morning. Mm. Speaking of bunny, Warren. Good morning. How are you doing, okay? Fine, fine, lovely. Shame about the, the cloud cover this yeah, morning, looking right. forward to the sunrise, but it's all good. sun's there, but. Yeah. Slept all cloudy. right? Slept well. Warm really and toasty. Warm. Actually, toasty warm. I had mega loads of layers on, which is probably too much. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. Great. Flat was okay. Uh, lay was okay. All right. I think we're in a bit of a hollow, so it's more windy. Oh, yeah. The minute there. I stood up just now to make coffee, yeah. uh, walk yeah. over there with my coffee, and windy. it was blowing out my cup. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> sitting in here, it's fine. Yeah. But it's nice having that over ledge to, to look out on. Yeah. Lovely jubbly. Today is home day, so uh, I think I said last night we got a couple of hours walking, a couple of hours driving to be doing. At least, probably more like three hours walking, three hours driving. But uh, yeah, it's, um, it's going to make tracks fairly sharpish. Warren's just got a kettle on, uh, we've got coffee, we're going to have a little sachet of porridge each and start packing down. <coughs> I need to go and um, make my mark on the landscape, so I um, need to find my shovel. And then, I'm going to pack stuff away and start walking. So, I might just say, thank you for watching. I might say it now. Thank you for watching. And um, I'll see you next time. It's been a good trip. Thanks Warren for uh, accompanying me and if you would uh, I don't know, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, check out Warren's channel, all these sorts of things, I'd be grateful. Anyway, goodbye, see you soon.